Hi. You know, I've been thinking and I wanted to come on and this is going to be actually a normal thing because I feel like there aren't enough women, black women, who are really providing a different perspective about black women and our relationship with black men. I feel like all the black women are saying the same things and it's providing a riff, a separation between us and the men that's supposed to protect us and the men that's supposed to be there for us. And the way that the world is heading and the way that we as humans are heading, we need to come together. And specifically, Black people need to come together more than ever because no one else is going to have our backs. No one else is going to have our backs. So we supposed to be for each other. So rather you be, rather you consider yourself a Black person, an African-American, a Pan-African, an FBA, an ADOS, a Christian, a Muslim, whatever you consider yourself to be, this whole gender things, this whole gender wars that we are going through, it ain't it. It's not it. I mean, we are getting played and it's unfortunate that we don't see it. Because I'm a black woman living in America today, I'm speaking specifically about us. So here's some questions. When did we, as Black women, separate ourselves from our men? Number two, when did our egos get so out of control that no one can say anything about us? No one can tell us anything. No one can criticize us. No one can tell us about ourselves. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Number three, why do we celebrate and fight for our lowest vibration? Why do we fight for high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, bonnets, ratchetness, only fans, ridiculous, illogical, high expectations, attitudes, being disrespectful to our men and everybody else, talking back to people, talking to black men any type of way, and so many other things that we keep doing that keeps us in a state of low vibration, all the while we're operating in our masculinity and claiming that we're living in our femininity. All I'm going to say is hurt people hurt people. And our actions are clearly an indication that we are sisters just living in unresolved pain. And frankly, our men are tired of our ish. And I don't blame them. I'm tired of our ish. I mean, when did we get to the point where we are today? And I know we go, I'm going to have some, oh, you're a pick me. You're giving pick me. That pick me shit is played. It's played. Who doesn't want to be a pick me? You damn right I'm a pick me. I'm actually already picked. But if I wasn't, you damn straight. I'm a pick me. Y'all sound stupid as hell. Y'all sound ridiculous with this pick me. Who doesn't want to be picked? We are human beings. We were born in this world in pairs, male and female. And don't, I don't want to hear about all this other stuff with people coming at me with, oh, there's more. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about male and female. We're born. We were made. We were created in pairs. We were created to be each other's helpmates, to be each other's partners, we're created for family. <laughs> this gender wars, it ain't it. <laughs>